Today I want to feed my corals that eat the big meaty foods today. So we're going to do the bubble coral, the mini maxi. Um, we're going to do the Akins. We're going to do this scenario. The two plates. And the Duncans. And the RBTA. I'm going to do my best to capture all of them on film um, as they eat. So I'm going to be feeding them individually one by one. That way we don't miss one. And then I'm going to do a time lapse with it. So, uh, all right. So we're going to get prepping the food right now. I got the silver sides uh, thawing out. I just scrubbed the glass on the tank. So uh, I just scrubbed the glass on the tank. The tank glass. I don't know. Whatever way sounds better, that's what I'm doing. I just scrubbed the glass, so tank's a little bit foggy right now. Here's the Euphelia, if you guys missed it in my last video. I know, guys, I have a really hard time filming under actinics uh, with these LEDs, so bear with me, guys. I really apologize for it, but nothing really I can do for it. All right, I'm going to prepare the silver sides. All right, so I got the silver sides, silver sides thawed out. Um, so now what we got to do is prepare them for the coral and we got to chop them up and debone them the best we can. If you ever saw my uh, RBTA care uh, video, I talk about how I try to cut these up into smaller chunks and get as much of the bone out as I possibly can because it does take such a long time for the corals to try to digest bone. We just want to try to give them as much meat as possible. So as you can see there, I cut the head off. I don't feed the head at all. A lot of people argue that you can feed the eyes. The eyes have some nutritional value, but the gain you get out of the eyes is uh, lost in digesting the, uh, the uh, skull. So, all right, I'm going to cut this all up nice and small and get as much of the bone out as I possibly can, and we'll uh, feed our first coral. All right, guys, I got the silver sides all prepared. I got it kind of grouped up here. These bigger chunks are going to be for the uh, bigger corals, like the bubble coral, and... Uh, the RBTA are going to get the bigger chunks. Um, this kind of like smoothie looking stuff over here. This is going to be for the Akins, um, the Duncans, and that's it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. And uh, the plates in that mini maxi. Um, these I might actually use for the mini maxi. We'll see how that goes. But they're pretty small. And then this piece next to the head, this is the stuff I'm not going to feed here. Um, this piece right here, then I'm moving towards the center of the plate. That's going to be for my cleaner shrimp to keep him occupied uh, while I feed the coral so he doesn't try to snag all this food away from the corals. So that's going to be the cleaner shrimp piece there. Um, usually when I give him a piece first and it's a pretty sizable chunk, he doesn't even bother the corals um, when I start feeding them. So we're going to feed the first coral here. Alright guys, first one we're going to do here is the RBTA. I already gave the uh, shrimp's piece to him. So we're going to go ahead and throw a chunk into the RBTA here. Watch me. Eat. All right, next one is going to be this Rainbow Mini Maxi. And now we'll do the bubble coral. And he's a little closed up for whatever reason. Now we'll do...
And now we'll go to the Duncans. Duncans are very aggressive eaters. 